sixth grade module one lesson 21 classwork so this is all about conversion of the different measurement units that we use so it says conversion tables contain ratios that can be used to convert units of length weight or capacity you must multiply the given number by that ratio that compares the two units so identify the ratios that are associated with conversions between feet inches and yards so one thing i do want to point out is that on the next not this page but the next page at the end of the lesson there's a whole page of all the different conversions so if you don't have everything memorized which i mean there's a lot here to remember so if you don't have all of this memorized you can always refer back to this page i'm trying to look and see page maybe 93 um, and that will give you all the conversions that you'll need for this lesson. So let's go back to the opening exercise. It says identify the ratios that are associated with conversions between feet, inches, and yards. So 12 inches is equal to one foot. So then our ratio, the ratio of inches to feet would be 12 to one. One foot, so this is just flipping it, one foot is equal to how many inches? One foot is, oops, one foot is 12 inches, so the ratio of feet to inches is one to 12. Three feet is equal to how many yards? Just one. So the ratio of feet to yards is three to one. And one yard is equal to three feet. So the ratio of yards to feet is one to three. Okay, example one. Work with your partner to find out how many feet are in 48 inches. Make a ratio table that compares feet and inches. Use the conversion rate of 12 inches per foot or 1 12th foot per inch. So we want to know how many feet are in 48 inches. And it says to use the conversion rate of 12 inches per foot or 1 12th foot per inch. So we have 48 inches and we want to make that into feet. So the conversion rate for that, we need to multiply it by the feet, the amount of feet that are in an inch. So we need to multiply that by 1 12th so that we can get how many feet that would be. So let's do 48 over 1 times 1 12th and we'll get 48 twelfths and then 48 divided by 12 is equal to 4. So there are 4 feet which is 4 feet is equal to 48 inches. And it does say to make a ratio table, so we could just, we could say, let's see, let's do feet and inches. So we know that one foot is 12 inches, four feet is 48 inches, and if, then we can just fill in the blanks because we know that we can just multiply it by 12 so there's a ratio table example two how many grams are in six kilograms again make a record of your work before using the calculator the rate would be 1,000 grams per kilogram the unit rate would be a thousand so how many grams are in six kilograms so there's 1,000 grams per kilogram so we need to do six kilograms times 1,000 grams, and that would get us how many kilograms? So six times 1,000 is 6,000 grams. So six kilograms is equal to 6,000 grams. And if we wanted to make a chart, let's see, let's do grams and kilograms. So 1,000 grams is one kilogram, 2,000 grams is two kilograms, 3,000 is three, 4,000, 
four, five thousand five, and then six thousand is six, which is what we found right there. Exercise one, how many cups are in five quarts? As always, make, sure, make a record of your work before using the calculator. The rate would be four cups per quart. The unit rate would be four. So how many cups are in five quarts? So if we have five quarts and there are four cups per quart, we can multiply it by four and we'll get 20 cups in five quarts. And if we want to make our chart, let's do quarts and cups. So one quart is four cups and let's do two, three, four was 20. So each time it's just multiplying by four. So two quarts would be eight cups, three would be three times four is 12. Four would be, oh, I didn't write that correctly. Four would be equal to four times four is 16 and it was five quarts. That was 20 cups. How many quarts are in 10 cups? So now they've flipped it and we want to know how many quarts are in cups. So we know that there are four cups in one quart. So that means that there's one fourth a quart in one cup. So we need to do 10 times one fourth or 10 over 1 times 1 fourth is equal to 10 fourths. And if we make that into a mixed number, 4 goes into 10 twice. That's 8, so we'd have 2 fourths left over, or 2 and a half quarts. And we don't need to make a chart for that one. And that is all.